All right, guys. Well, I was right, and I don't know how. It, I knew something was wrong. Star, the other red New Zealand over there by flag. Flag had eight. One was a peanut, lost one. Or not really a peanut. One just never grew off good. It died yesterday, so she has seven. Uh, seven big old fat babies. Star next to her was due. Today is 35. Okay? This morning I went, and I've been trying to rebreed her the last couple of days because she should already have them. She had a belly on her. And the thing that was confusing me is she was picking up, she was uh, trying to make a nest with her mouth. She was picking up stuff to make a mess, to make a nest. That is not normal. If they skip, they never do that. They'll eat hay. You'll put it in there and they'll eat it. But they'll never get hay in their mouth to make a nest. All right? That's how I t t uh, tell. So that's why I was so confused. That's why I told you all last time I was so confused. Well, on day 35, look what pops out of her. Fully haired little red. Now, that's ink on his feet, because what I'm about to do is I'm about to put him in with um, Flag, with her seven, uh, and see if she'll adopt him. I'll put some scent on her and see if everything will be good. But he is a little fighter. I've never had one that came out that late and was alive. Not only is he alive, but he's so mad at the world. He just got, He's not hollering now. He's getting warm. I'm going to warm up these shirts in the uh, dryer because uh, he was really cold. It's about uh, 40 degrees here, and so he was very chilled. And so I've been warming him up slow, and then when I get him warm, um, I don't think she has any more in her. Uh, one, because this one's fully haired. If another one comes out, it may be dead. It may have been stuck behind this one and it died. Uh, but the way she's acting, I don't think there's any more. Um, but I will stick this one with a flag. But it, it's just it's a miracle baby already. And so if it, if it makes it after going with a new mom, it will be something. But it is fully haired. It's been in the mom about four days too long. And uh, it is a stinker. Um, if it makes it, it'll be staying on the property. Um, but we will see. Uh, for good or bad, I'll keep you updated on what happens to the little guy. Uh, we'll call it Miracle. Uh, if anybody deserves the name, it does, whether it's a boy or girl. And so I thought you all like to see, and I'll be keeping in touch. I'm about to put some vanilla extract. Well, I'm first going to warm it up because a baby rabbit has enough food to last it for about 24 hours. A mama rabbit's not going to feed the babies except for morning and night, so it's not a hurry to get this in there with those other babies. I'll put some vanilla extract probably in the next hour or so after I've warmed his core temperature. Not just warm the outside of him. I need to warm the core, core temperature. When I pick him up, he needs to feel uh, the same temperature as my hand. If not, uh, I'd say the same temperature because you don't want to overheat him. If you don't know what you're doing, you may overheat him. So about the same temperature of your hand. You don't want him hot to the touch. You don't want to stick him in hot water or anything. You just want his core to warm up slowly. And once again, not fast, slowly. Um, but once I get that core temperature of that little guy warmed up, I'll put vanilla extract on Zoe's uh, on Flag's nose, and I'm going to stick him on the bottom of the pile of babies, uh, hoping, because he has some blood and tissue that still needs to come off that is dry, and so hoping that those other babies will pee on them before the mom feeds them tonight and get her, those babies smell on them, and then when she jumps in the nest, she'll go, oh, this one's dirty, I need to clean it up, and so lick and eat all that stuff off of them. And if everything works as I plan it in my head, <laughs> um, in the morning, it'll be a clean baby in there with her other seven, and she'll have a litter of eight. And that's why I marked the bottom of its feet, because it's just a red like the others, and I want to tell it apart, because it's at a whole other litter, and it'll have to be pedigreed a whole other way. All right? So hopefully I explained good. And it may be dead in the morning, just letting you know. Uh, it's not a sure thing. And if it, like I said, if it does make it, it will be a miracle, because it... It made it five days too long in the mama, and then if I can get it to another mama that'll raise it, it'll be something. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.